It's my birthday tomorrow. And I realized today I had this shirt. I've owned this shirt. I bought it brand new 18 years ago. I looked, I looked down. I mean, it's kind of busted. It's got like bleach stains on it. It's like my, one of my home shirts. 18 years. That's a long time to own a shirt. I don't think that's a good thing to have a shirt for 18 years, but maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway. So this dude asked me today if a company pays him for his music, are they just paying him for the exclusive licensing rights to pitch, or are they buying the copyright? 99 times out of 100, like 99% of the time, they're buying the copyright. So you're, you sold it, and they own a piece of it forever. Um, and the second question this dude asked was, uh, oh, if, if he signs up with an exclusive licensing company or library or publisher or whatever, and the, is he able to land a placement himself for his band and not have to pay the publisher a fee? 99 times out of 100, you're going to have to pay the publisher a fee, their, their contracted fee. So if it's a 50-50 deal... And you, and you land a placement on your own for something, not only do you have to pay them their cut, 50%, they'll probably have to approve it a lot of times too if they're paying money up front. So you might you know, want to put the song on a buddy's YouTube video or something or whatever, or a TV show or something. Well, the, the library, the entity you sold the track to is going to have to approve most of the time. I mean, I'm sure there's exceptions, but generally speaking, that's the case. So, it is 5.30 p.m. on a Friday, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working. Because it's my birthday tomorrow. Hope this helps. Have a good one.